Some people have asked how the Ubuntu phone actually works. I mean, there are no buttons to do anything, right? You've got no hardware buttons down the bottom. You've got nothing like that, no home screen button. And the answer is it's all done with swipes. So you can swipe from every different edge of the screen and all of these things belong to Ubuntu itself. So I'm here looking at Shorts, the RSS app, but I can switch to the previous app I used with a short swipe from the right-hand side. So I swipe from the right-hand side, it takes me to the previous app I was using. Swipe again, it takes me back. That's like Alt-Tab. So I can just go swipe, and it switches in between different applications. I can also swipe a long swipe from the right-hand side, and that shows me all of my apps. That's like the window spread on Ubuntu itself. If you use um, Super W, Windows Key and W, then you get the app spread, which shows you all your different windows. This is the same thing. So once you've done there, you can then switch in between all your different applications. So I can go back to Shorts there. Again, Short Swipe, previous app, Long Swipe, shows me all of the different apps I've got running. Now the left-hand edge is for starting and controlling apps. So if I swipe a short swipe from the left-hand edge, I get the launcher. There you can see the different apps that I've got running. So I can switch to Beru, the book reader. There it is. Again, short swipe brings in the launcher. And so I can switch back to shorts. Now, one of the important points about swipes, the way they're set up on Ubuntu, is that you can always cancel them. So if I do a long swipe from the right-hand side to show my things, but don't let go of the screen, and then I swipe back again, it cancels it. So I swipe and then swipe back to cancel. Again, I can pull the launcher in or push it back out again, all in one movement. Now, a long swipe from the left-hand side takes me right back to the dash. So that's a quick way of getting to the dash always. If I go back to here, again, a long swipe from the right-hand side pulls all the apps out of the way and takes me to the dash. The top side, the top edge of the screen, is for the status menus. This is for Bluetooth, networking, the time, things like that. So if I swipe down, if I swipe down over the Bluetooth icon, for example, there's the Bluetooth stuff. If I swipe down over the notifications, the envelope, there's the notifications. But I don't have to be particularly accurate. So I can swipe down and then go left and right, and that shows me all the different notification menus. So I can swipe down over the time, say, and that shows me the time and date, but then I can go to battery, to sound, to network, so on and so forth. So that's a top swipe is the status menus. Now, the bottom edge of your application belongs to the application itself, so it's going to do different things in different apps. So one example here is the dash. If I swipe up from the bottom of the dash, it shows me all the different scopes that I've got available. So bottom edge belongs to your application. In general, at the moment, applications don't tend to be using the bottom edge very much, but they will do as time goes on. So bottom edge belongs to the app. Top edge, status menus. Left hand edge is the launcher. Right hand edge is the previous app. A long swipe from the left takes you all the way back to the dash. And a long swipe from the right takes you to the list of apps you've got running. I hope that helped.